you know something I just thought about? We've been talking about the birth rate decline. I've been talking about it globally. We've been talking about it in terms of childcare, lack of affordable housing, inflation, cost of living, climate change, all of that. We've been talking about the political atmosphere and all that. What about these parents who have adultified their children, who have made their daughters into caretakers, who have made their daughters take care of their younger siblings? Those women are tired of taking care of people um, and they are really opting out because of it. The other day, I made a video about this Haitian woman who said that her daddy said that she was going to take care of him before she was even born because she was born a girl. Y'all, women across the board are saying, "Uh uh-uh, get someone else to do it. So um, I took some of the comments from that video on my TikTok page, and I need to share them with you. This woman says, talking about her dad, I suppose, mine who was never in my life, who barely spent a dime on me, thought I was going to cook for him when I met him. The audacity. This woman says, not only fathers, my, my mother says she always wanted to give birth to a daughter so that she would have help. I grew up as a servant to my family. Women are tired of being treated as servants. This woman says, yep, I've already told my mom she's out back with the caretaking thing. I'm, I'm the adultified, parentified child, so the rest of my life is for me. And so then I asked her, are you opting in or out of kids? She says, opting out. It sounds exhausting. And I've spent my life taking care of other people. I'm done. This woman says, I love my parents, but I'm not a retirement plan. They should have enough resources to take care of themselves. If they don't, that's on them. Maria says, my grandfather told my mom it wasn't his son's job to take care of him. It was hers. And I was like, what did your mom say? Maria says, nothing. She walked away from him upset. My grandfather was always right, even when wrong kind of mentality. Not the first time he made her cry. I wonder what that means if she's going to back down or just do her caretaking servant type of job. Sade says, oh my God, yes. My dad still haven't talked to me in five years because I left home and he was hoping I would stay and take care of them until they died. When parents are like this, I wonder what they really think as far as us having our own life dreams, need to create Um, a life, need to create our own retirement. They literally don't see us as human in a way. And parents really forget that we have autonomy. Just because we come from your body doesn't necessarily mean that we are an extension of you. We are a whole other human that needs to create a whole other life. This woman says, as a child who never had a childhood, I went out of my way to make sure they only had childlike responsibilities, speaking about her own children. When I get older, they owe me nothing. It would be nice if I become disabled, they help out, but they are not obligated to. I have vet benefits for this reason. So Wendy says, someone tell this to my father and mother. And A.O. says, start telling them yourselves and keep to your word. We have got to be vocal about this. But even if we're not vocal, you know, some people don't want to pick a fight. Moving across the country will show them better than you could tell them. So I have people coming into my comment section talking about, I don't care what your parents did. If they didn't do anything, I don't care if they were toxic. You're still supposed to do for your parents. I have people still saying this to me. You can say that all you want. What I'm going to continue to say is pour into the people who have poured into you. If they haven't cultivated cultivated their relationships, if their field is barren, that is because that is the consequences of their own actions. This person says, I was the family caretaker as soon as a younger child was born. I don't have contact with my parents anymore. Recognize that some people are going no contact and it is for legitimate reasons. You do not have to stay in these situations simply because you were born into those situations. Parents seem to forget that sometimes we do grow up, we become adults, and we get agency and autonomy to move as we please. So 
what you could do when a person was a minor is not what you could do when the person becomes an adult. This person says, one day my mom and my auntie looked at my cousin and I and told us, if y'all aren't going to clean, then what was the point in us giving birth to you guys? These people simply keep referring to girl children as caretakers, as servants. And it's in line with just about everything. It This goes to relationships. This goes to the family. If you're born a girl child, you're expected to be self-sacrificing. You're expected to be a service person, period. You guys go ahead, jump in the comments and let me know what you think.